Just when you thought all the Christmas videos were finished, it is time for one more. That's right, today we have the 12 Days of Christmas 2021 Blu-ray mystery box from All The Anime. So for those of you who don't know, All The Anime are kind of like a website that sell um, anime Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff. Um, it's got like blogs and things like that. But yeah, usually they're pretty good for selling um, collections of Blu-rays and stuff, and also collector's editions, which is what this is centred around. So every year they do a 12 days of Christmas kind of thing. They'll put sales on every day or ever for 12 days in a row. And one of the things is mystery boxes. Now I've always seen them, but I've never taken the dive. But this year I thought, hey, why not? So in this mystery box here, uh, are four Blu-rays. Now, there were two versions on offer. There was red version and blue version. So I've gone for blue version because uh, it kind of sounds a bit like Pokemon and to be honest, uh, I prefer Blastoise to Charizard. I know that may be a controversial opinion, but I don't care. Anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's about all you guys need to know. So it's going to be a quick one today because uh, it's just going to be, you know, the four the four Blu-rays. Uh, I'm going to go cut this off screen and I'll be obby. Alright, I'm back. So I'm not sure if I explained actually, but all of these Blu-rays in here are collector's editions uh, as well. So that's going to be pretty exciting. You know, it could be a collector's edition of the, of the series or a movie or whatever. Um, I'm kind of hoping that I won't end up with, uh, you know, with series that I already have. That, that would suck a little bit. Uh, oh, okay, hang on. I think we have a box within a box, which is... Yes, we do. Wow, okay then. Uh, <laughs> cool, right. Um, I'm going to go open this one up as well then, BRB. All right, that is open as well, and I could see a little little flash of colour as I, as I pop this up. So, indeed, the Blu-rays are here. So, in terms of stuff I am looking for that I'd really like, Honestly, I'd be more hyped to get a series I've not heard of, or I've heard very little of, if that makes sense. Um, you know, I know you might be thinking, well, why would you have a collector's edition of a series you've never seen before? But, hey, I, uh, that's how I roll. You know, I, I like discovering new series and stuff, and having them on physical Blu-ray and stuff is a lot nicer, because... Uh, Especially on things like Netflix and Amazon Prime. It's great to discover an anime, but too often it'll it'll go off the streaming service after a while and you won't be able to find it again. So having hard copies is quite nice. Anyway, I can feel full here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out the first one. Ooh, that is Birthday Wonderland. Sorry, that took a while to focus there. Okay, no, this isn't. This isn't the one I was thinking of. I thought this was a movie. I'm going to check the back. Okay, so I just had a brief read. So indeed, this is a movie. It's um, directed by Keiichi Hara, who I can't say I've heard of, but that is pretty cool. The uh, I had a brief read of the synopsis. It sounds quite uh, sounds quite interesting. It also looks very, very pretty. Um, and also, this kind of ticks one of the things I mentioned, which is... I know nothing about the series. I have never heard of Birthday Wonderland. So, uh, and it's got a little art book as well, as you can see there. So I'm not going to be opening these up because, um, you know, it, it might be a while till I get around to them and it's better to keep them sealed until you actually crack them open. But that's really cool. I might, I might give that a watch later. Um, and potentially I might do a little follow-up video just to, like, give my um, thoughts and stuff. But we'll see. Ooh! <gasps> Okay, hello, right, okay, so this, okay, so, right, a little bit of history here, so I'm, I'm a big Full Metal Alchemist fan, um, so years ago, I bought Full Metal Alchemist, as in, so this is the first series and not uh, Brotherhood, obviously, so I bought this on a pirate DVD, basically, back in the day where sort of streaming anime was still a little bit difficult to do. Um, and I've always kind of wanted to go back and actually get this on Blu-ray or, um, or DVD even, because, uh, you know, I mean, 
the pyrocopy things were, you know, what, it's what people put up with, you know, back in the day. But this is very exciting. So I'm going to check on the back quickly. So that is the back, if anyone wants to read it. Uh, so that is Full Metal Alchemist Hagane no Renkin Jutsushi. Um, so this, just to confirm as well, because it, it did feel a little bit light, this is part one of two. Um, so this is a like, hard box to keep both parts in, but this is incredibly exciting. Um, I saw this went up a while ago, and I kind of just never got around to pre-ordering it, basically. Because um, I was like, oh, I, I loved original Full Metal Alchemist and stuff, but it, it was just something that I kind of forgot came out. Um, and honestly, I'm, I'm really happy I did now, because I feel like if I'd, if I'd actually bought it... It'd be a bit of a donor to pull a second one, but that that box is has some phenomenal art. Uh, yeah, that is that is very hype. Right, so I might have to get run to getting part two or two, but I am happy to do that. Next up is something that's upside down. Ride your wave. Um, this is another one I have literally never heard of. The the art looks beautiful though. This is, um, actually no. No, I think I have heard of this before. Um, yeah, this is a movie as well, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, I think I heard of this a while ago. I want to say it got some kind of award. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. Anyway, uh, as with Birthday Wonderland, we do have an art book as well. That is very nice. And, uh, man, I'm really digging that cover. That is, that is phenomenal. It's presumably a kind of romance, maybe, about surfing, possibly. Uh, yet again, it does look beautiful, uh, all of the stills and stuff. Yeah, damn. Well, all right then. So, we've got one left. What will it be? It will be... Oh, <laughs> the Dragon Dentist. Now, I've heard of this before. Um, and it, it was it was so strange that I just never, never kind of followed up on it. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this is a dental anime, which is not not something I guess you know everyone expects uh, straight away when when you you know bring up the concept of a series. But that yeah, th this has kind of always been on my radar a little bit. Um, been aware of it and it's like that sounds strange enough that it's probably really interesting. Um, and there we go, and that has an art book as well, I do believe. And I'm presuming Full Metal Alchemist also has an art book, but I can't really see, obviously, because the entire box uh, is covering it. But wow, right, I'm going to lay these all out now, and we'll uh, go through them quickly before I wrap up, so BRB. Sorry, just to mention as well, I just realised, so um, The Dragon Dentist is actually not a series, so it's uh, two OVAs, basically, um, but like feature length OVAs or whatever, because it's like 90 minutes overall. So, that, hang on, yeah, that almost fits, oh, The Dragon Dent, ah, there we are. Well, this has been quite the haul, um, and it kind of fits exactly what I was expecting, apart from Full Metal Alchemist, obviously, in that they're essentially all series I've either never heard of or heard a tiny bit of, especially especially Dragon Dentist. I heard of it, but, you know, know nothing about it. I want to say I've heard the name of Radio Wave, and I've never heard of Birthday Wonderland, uh, and Full Metal Alchemist I'm very excited for. Because uh, usually part ones, especially because when they release it in like two kind of part things, part ones are the kind of harder ones to find because they've got the box, you know, for part two to put in as well. So I'm very, very pleased that I may go off and uh, order part two just so I can, you know, have the full collection. And yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. So this came to £40 overall, which is £10 each. Now, these... Obviously, if you've ever tried to buy anime, on um, Blu-ray especially, these definitely retail for a lot more than £10 each. Um, even the standard editions of all of these would probably take you more than £10. So the fact they're all like collector's editions and stuff as well is really, really good value actually. I'm 
thoroughly impressed. I, I think I might end up doing this again in the future. All the anime do tend to do them throughout the year, kind of. I think they do like a summer one as well, maybe. So you know, I, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that as well. But this this has been very good. So um, let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these. Um, for Metal Alchemist, the most likely that everyone's seen, really. But I'm very excited. I um, and you know, I don't often watch a lot of anime movies just because I don't know about a lot of them. So yeah, this is this is gonna be a really uh, really fun few days, I think. And, who knows, I may end up doing like a small review of some of these, or all of these, or none of these, who knows. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. I will be doing lots of, you know, anime-related videos in the future and stuff. 2022 is a an exciting time, maybe. I, I don't know where anime is coming out, but you, you get my gist. Anyway, right, uh, I'm going to leave you guys now. Thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.